Hello children, welcome to yet another beautiful Sunday. You are all very welcome. I'm so pleased to be here because the best place to be at is in the house of God. So once again, welcome. Our memory verse for today can be found in the first book of the Bible, the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. We shall say it again. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Now, the Lord said to Abraham, Go to the land that I will show you, and I will make of you a great nation. I will bless you, and I will make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. I would go over it so that we can say it after me later, okay? Shall we go? Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Now, the Lord said to Abraham, Go to the land that I will show you, and I will make of you a great nation. I will bless you, and I will make your name great so that you will be a blessing. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. So children, I will invite Auntie Debbie to come and stand by me whilst I say the memory verse. Then she will do the actions along for us to also learn it, so I to stick in our minds, okay? So let's clap for Auntie Debbie while she comes. So we say our memory verse, once again, shall we all go and listen and look at Auntie, okay? Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. We we'll say it again. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Now, the Lord said to Abraham, Go to the land that I will show you and I will make of you a great nation. I will bless you, and I will make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Shall we do the actions once more? I think you love it, right? Okay, let's go one more time. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. One more time. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Now the Lord said to Abraham, Go to the land that I will show you, and I will make of you a great nation. I will bless you, and I'll make your name great so that you will be a blessing. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Very good. Let's clap for ourselves. So, Auntie Debbie, thank you so much. Now, children, do you understand what the word of God has just told us? God says, we should only trust and obey. And all other things we need, he will give to us. We don't need any other thing, but just to trust the Lord and obey. He will give us everything that our heart desires. So we should learn to read the word of God, pray every day as the Bible says, we read and pray and we just ask. And he will bless us, just as the word has said, about how God just told Abraham to go. He didn't even know where he was going. And then he just listened and obeyed. And the Lord truly blessed him. So we thank the Lord for his word. And as children, as little as we are, we believe the Lord will send his Holy Spirit to open our ears and our hearts to always listen to his word 
trust and obey, and all other things will come to us. In Jesus' name we believe. Amen. Hello everyone. Good morning. How are you today? I hope you are all doing very well and you are as excited as I am. I'm very excited to be with you this morning. We will be talking about a man of God from the Bible. Uh, we'll be looking at the book of Genesis. But before we do that, let us say a word of prayer together. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this morning. Thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for every one of us gathered at your feet this morning. Give us understanding of your word. In the name of Jesus, have I prayed and with thanksgiving. Amen. So we will take a song before we look at our lesson. Welcome back. So we will be looking at our lesson and our lesson is from the book of Genesis as I mentioned earlier. Uh, we will be talking about Abram and Lot. Abram, I'm sure you've all heard about him. He used to be called Abram and he later became Abraham. And so today we are looking at what Abram did in the book of Genesis and there was no food in the land that Abram lived in. And so he decided to move with his wife Sarai to Egypt. When they got to Egypt, he was scared that he would be killed and his wife taken because his wife Sarai was very beautiful. And so instead of trusting God to protect him, he lied to Pharaoh, who was the ruler of Egypt, that his wife was his sister. And so his wife was taken away from him. She was with Pharaoh and God intervened. God gave Pharaoh a lot of trouble until he gave Sarai back to Abram and he sent them away from Egypt. Now, Abram and Lot, 
Lot was his nephew. They both had a lot of flocks, which is sheep in our local language or in our setting. So they had a lot of flock. They had a lot of possessions and land. And they, they were wealthy. They had a lot of things. And their servants had started fighting. And so because of this, Abraham had told Lot that they should separate. And so he asked Lot to select what he wanted, which of the lands he wanted. And so Lot looked around and he thought he saw the best looking land, which was around the Jordan. And so he picked that one for himself. And this was close to the land of Sodom. And Sodom was a place that was filled with wicked people. And so this was where Lot selected for himself. And Abram decided to stay in Canaan because that was where God wanted him to live. Now, there were four Mesopotamian kings. It's a big word, so let's break it down, Mesopotamia. So these kings, there were four of them, they decided to attack the cities, the cities in the Jordan, including Sodom. And when they did this, Lot was captured. They took Lot and his, all his servants, his sheep, they took all of them away. And guess what? Abram learned of this and he decided to go and rescue him. So Abram gathered over 300 trained men. He went with them to attack the, the four kings from Mesopotamia and they defeated them. And so they took Lot and all the servants and everything that the four kings had taken away from Sodom. They took everything back. And on their way back, once they arrived in, in Sodom, Abram was received by two men. These men were Melchizedek, who was a priest of God and a king. He blessed Abram with some bread and some wine. You know, in, in, in church, usually we would have communion. So he brought something like this and he blessed Abram. And Abram gave him a tithe. So this was a percentage of what he had brought from the, the possessions that the kings had taken, the cattle, the flock, the um, servants. He gave him a, a, a bit of it and he also received it. Now the other man that received Abram was the king of Sodom. And he had said to Abram that he should keep all of the possessions that he had taken back from the kings. And Abram refused. Why did he refuse? Because he didn't want the king of Sodom to say that he made him wealthy. And so he refused. And we see that Abram was victorious here because he obeyed God. God had told him to live in Canaan. He lived in Canaan. And Lot, unlike Abram, did not trust God you know, in taking his, de his decision to select the land. And so he picked the land where there were wicked people and that was why he was captured. That was why he was taken away by the four kings. And so just as Abram did in our daily lives, when your mom or your dad wants to even buy you a gift, sometimes you will see, let's say they are buying you a watch and you see two watches, there's one that is looking very beautiful, there's another one that is not looking so nice. I mean, they both will tell you the time, and so you may select the very beautiful one, but it may get spoiled the following day. And so, in the same story that we just talked about, we see that Lot decided to pick the land that looked very nice, you know, it looked watered and everything, but then, he had wicked people, and so that was why he was captured. And so let's always trust God to help us to make the best decisions. And so we will take a break at this time. We will take a song. And then when we come back, I'll ask you a few questions to see if you listened to the story.
Welcome back. And so now we will take a few questions. I hope you are paying attention. So the very first question is, what are the names of the two men we read about today? Who is going to give me the answer? Okay, yes. So it was Abram and Lot. Very good. Now the second question. Pay attention. So what did Abram say they should do? What did Abram say they should do? Yes, he said they should separate and live in different places because the land was now too busy with all of the flocks and the servants and the servants were fighting. We are moving to our next question. If you haven't been able to answer a question, try and answer this one. Which land did Lot choose? Which land did Lot choose? Yes, so he chose the nicest looking land. Now our fourth question. What kind of people were in Sodom? This one is a very easy one. What kind of people were in Sodom? Yes, they were wicked people in Sodom. They were very wicked. Now, very last question. Pay attention. What book can help us know God better and make better choices? This is another easy question. Who will answer this one? Yes, the Bible. Very good. Well done. I can see that you were all paying attention. Now, let us say a word of prayer. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for our lesson today. We thank you that, Lord, you have taught us that we should rely on you. We should trust you to help us to make good decisions. Even as we live here, we pray that, God, you be our guide and you help us to do your word always. In Jesus' name have we prayed and with thanksgiving. Amen. So see you next week. Have a very good, good week. And remember to ask God to help you to make a good decision. Hello, lovely ones. You are welcome to our craft session for today. So we are going to make a craft when Abraham and Lot had to separate from each other. And Abraham gave Lot the opportunity to choose first. We have our manila cards, scissors to cut it out, and we have some spoons, and then a cello tape, and then some pen, and then a permanent marker. Okay, so let's try and trace out a hand, a pointing hand. If you need help, I'm sure mommy or daddy can help you to draw a beautiful point in hand. So after this, we'll cut it out. It's good you trace it first so that when you're cutting, you're sure you don't make mistakes. And now we'll try and cut it out. Cut it out gently so that your craft comes out beautiful.
Okay, so we have a first hand cut out. Let's trace another one. So one hand for Lot and another one for Abraham. Great, we have all cut out now. You can put this aside. So you could actually use stick, but I prefer to use plastic spoons. So I'm going to cut this out to cut the top so that I can use the down part. Please try and get help if you need to, so that you don't hurt yourself. Okay. But before we, so we'll sellotape this together. But before we do that, let's first write on it so that it will be easier afterwards. So one color is going for Abraham and another one for Lot. Let's get this, okay. So let's put some inscription here. Abraham and Lot. Abraham and Lot separated, okay. Because we are going to have the two hands going opposite direction, it's good so that you have your inscription on the other side. Then you can have one going left and one going right. So, um, so if this is Abraham, Then lots so what I have written here is okay if you choose left I will choose right so Abraham gave that that opportunity for lots to choose which way he wants to go before they parted or get the sticks glued to the hand to make it handy. OK. 
Great, this is what we have for our crafts. So, if you choose, if you choose right, then I will choose left. Great, I hope you liked your crafts for today. And we thank God for helping us to understand what happened, the opportunity that Abraham gave to Lord, even in this lesson that we took today. Thank you.